Over time, debris such as old food or even dead bugs can become stuck in your griddle's burner tube. This can lead to parts of the burner tube being blocked up and gas being unable to flow. To fix this, you will need either a bottle brush or a can of compressed air. You will also need a Phillips screwdriver to help you remove the burner tube. Depending on the size of the griddle you own, the steps to remove your burner tubes may vary slightly. For this example, we are using a 22 inch griddle, which can apply to a 17 inch and a 28 inch griddle easily. First, remove the griddle top so you can access the burner tubes underneath it. Next, you will need to remove the burner tube from the griddle by removing the screws holding the tube in place. Because of the size of the 17 inch, 22 inch, and 28 inch griddles, you will also need to remove the screws underneath the knob to give you more room to lift the burner tube from its slot. Otherwise, you may risk damaging your griddle. To fully remove the burner tubes from the griddle, lift and pull the tube out of its slot once the screws have been removed. For a 36 inch griddle, you will only need to remove the screws holding the tube in place and lift and pull before pulling the burner tube out. Once the burner tube has been removed, use your bottle brush or compressed air to clean up any blockages that may be in the burner tube. Make sure the front area inside of the burner tube is clear of bugs or other debris. Otherwise, the gas flow can become blocked, which is potentially dangerous. Check to make sure the blockage has been removed before you screw the burner tube back in and put the griddle top back on. Make sure the tube fully ignites and get back to cooking. For more information, contact our customer support team or visit us at blackstoneproducts.com support.